I am Lydia Ivada, a parent from the First Alliance School with Cops, Flanders Elementary. <laughs> Con Cops hemos aprendido cómo organizarnos. Y cuando estamos organizados, tenemos poder. Y con poder, podemos triunfar. Okay. One more time. One more time, real quick. Okay, just really punch that out. In okay. San Antonio, Lydia Vada is practicing her speech before the convention tomorrow. The man helping her knows a thing or two about public persuasion. His name is Ernie Cortez. Okay, okay. You want, but you want, that, you want that passion to come out, you know, and you want people to really feel okay. how you feel as a parent, okay? And the new Las Palmas Library and Literacy Center, the first in the nation and hope for our families. The new Las Palmas Library and Literacy Center, the first in the nation. Ernie Cortez is the founder of COPS, communities organized for public service. He's also their inspiration. And the new Las Palmas Library and Literacy Center. We're like the frog, okay? You put a frog in a bowl of hot water, you know, and he jumps out of it. But you put him in a bowl of cold water, put him on a stove, turn the water up slowly perceptively the frog boils to death okay and that's we're kind of like the frog okay we're allowing ourselves our political democracy we're allowing our social capital we're allowing our civic culture to be unraveled our heritage our birthright in the cops organization an ordinary citizen like virginia ramirez could find a way to be heard angered by the housing conditions in her neighborhood she went to cops she knew something was wrong, something was terribly wrong, and came to cops and said, we'll do something about it. They said to her, you do something about it. We'll teach you, we'll train you, we'll develop you. For cops, there is only one rule, the iron rule. Never do for someone what they can do for themselves. Ernie teaches that democracy waits. It only responds when we empower ourselves give ourselves a public life and build organizations that continually develop leaders. The polls, what do you have to do with people? You have to educate folks. And how do you do that? House, that's right. All a house meeting is, is a gathering of 8, 10, 12, 15 people who come together to talk about an issue, to talk about their concerns, who began to try... Only then are we able to, to decide what are the problems that are affecting our families the most and what are those things that we need to look at. That's like he said, the crime. Last night I was coming home from work because I teach a, a class. In a, in a house meeting, because it's a smaller group, they feel much more comfortable. They feel like they're, they're talking among family and friends and they, they really express what their concerns are, what they feel, what they think. Hey, you're thinking like I'm thinking, you know, and I hope that and I'm saying for myself because, you know... Uh, there isn't anyone that's going to go out there when they think, hey, it's hopeless. No. You know, uh, we can bring about change. I can't all by myself, but there are others like me. At that point, they'll be walking up the stage, but the mariachi will continue to play. Cops leaders make final preparations for the convention tomorrow. Okay. And that begins, the, that begins the formal convention. The business part of the meeting. convention, Ernie Cortez is hardly seen. He sees his role not as a leader of the band, but as the person who assembled the musicians. Teach, mentor, guide, enable people to develop the capacity to act in their own behalf and that of their families. If we do not show our children democracy in action, who will teach our children? Project Quest is a success because it shows that long-term productive job training with a job at the end of training works. Will you commit this city's continued financial support of Project Quest? Yes, I will. Our goal over the next four years is for 3,000 families to assure either a home improvement loan or a mortgage loan. Mr. Evans, what is your bank's commitment to this new initiative? We're committing $20 million to make loans and $20,000 investment. We're going to put $20,000 into the partnership and up to $10 million in home improvement loans. And we will commit $25 million in affordable housing. We want to seal this deal with a handshake with the bankers. 
Because of COPS, we have been able to teach, literally teach our political leaders that we are going to sit at the table, that we are going to be part of the decision making in San Antonio. Is this acceptable, you know, to anybody? I'm not the only person that cannot accept this. The people who are forced to live, you know, in this situation begin to accept it. And there lies the harm. To Shirley Quamine, the issue was not what had happened, but what help is needed and how long it takes homeless people to get back on their feet. She put all her possessions in storage and went on the street. I want to find out what it would take, you know, if I were totally homeless without funds, how I could get off the street. And so I came down to uh, Fifth Street on the bus, you know, with my tote bag. I uh, went into the welfare office, and they gave me a voucher to a Skid Row hotel. And I was literally, you know, on my own to figure out how I was going to eat, if there are any jobs available. None of that was offered. The far side, mm -hmm. I got somebody threw away a car seat. Mm -hmm. And I cut the foam out of the car seat. Mm -hmm. So I got the car seat foam on one side and the uh, inflatable pad on this side. Yeah. So once this, how many boxes is this? Oh, uh, that's about 12. 12 boxes, yeah. It took her seven yeah. months to get back. She came so back with some new friends and a new idea, Q-Up, a nonprofit service that helps provide shelter and support when everything else fails. Maybe if you could tell me some of your ideas that you've outlined in here and give me some of the basis for how you came up with some of those, that would be real helpful to us. These students in Lee County, Florida, are teaching adults that there's more to politics than protest and more to a class project than a paper. They are known as the Monday Group. Since 1969, each new class has met with city council members to pick a project, one that redefines what a small group can accomplish. This group is trying to save the home of some endangered manatees. It's not just walking around carrying picket signs or things like that. They do go through the democratic process. They don't just sit around and, and gripe and moan the way a lot of people do. They get out and, and get involved and get their feet wet. Remember, the quieter we are, the better the chance of us seeing some wildlife when we get in. This 2,500-acre cypress swamp is a testament to the efforts of earlier Monday groups, who mounted a petition drive and got voters to preserve the area. I enter this every year thinking, I don't know enough about the politics of Lee County and what's going on here. Uh, every time I come in the swamp, I think, I don't know enough about this swamp. But you just jump right in. And when they decide they're going to do a project, I don't know where it's going to go. They don't know where it's going to go. But we, we follow it, and we find ways to work in the government, and we just sort of figure out what's needed and how to get there. What I'd like you to do right now is reflect on this class and your commitment to this class for the rest of the year. Now, we're, we're standing in water that is produced by this swamp that's held by this swamp that was protected by this class. With the Monday group, I guess I hope to make a footprint in the world and have people notice that we do make change, that students can make a big difference in our society and in our world and in our environment. If you really try to get something changed, then I believe you can do it. I mean, this Monday group shows that. I mean, you were in the swamp and you saw what the Monday group did. It's just a bunch, no, not even a bunch, maybe 10 kids. I don't plan on having a political job, but I know I'll be involved in politics somehow. And I will make a difference for the rest of my life. <laughs>